What's up, blockchain crypto kids, Bat Bits Gap crew, all y'all, how y'all doing? Hope everything is going great. Hope you got mad, mad, mad profits falling in your lap, and you should, because the market has been a giver, a serious giver today. It's been really fun, and it's been, you know, good giver over the past few days, which all the FUD and all the crazy stuff, you know, it's like, what is crypto turning into Wall Street? Wall Street, like, you know, starting a couple years ago, they used to be bad news meant bad things. Now, bad mean, not bad news and bad things for investors means like great things for the market. And it's like, uh, you know, as long as the, you know, some company is like screwing over a bunch of employees, firing everyone, cutting paychecks. And they're like, oh, well, the stock market's going to go up. Back in the day, stuff crashed when that happened. Now it's nothing makes sense. Right. And here we are again. We got some bunch of crazy FUD from the, from the uh, you know, a new regulation and the market goes crazy because they're like, oh, well, that means all this money is going to get poured into the market from people who love regulation and uh, don't feel safe getting in here until it's just most of that is all ridiculous. <laughs> Those statements are all ridiculous. There's so much more manipulation causing these things than uh Anyway, not really the point. I'm getting ready for a trip, and I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so many apologies there. Won't be signals in the group for a couple days. Uh, nothing I can do about it. Um, on uh, Someone asked me, you know, could I lay out a BitScap video, and I meant to do this a couple of days ago, but I had some terrible stuff happen. Someone stole my motorcycle and blah, 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 blah. None of that's important for this video. Um, but it did take a lot of my time and I, but I did want to get on here and cause I said I'd make a video. So I wanted to go ahead and at least get a little bit out. So this video is going to be a little bit different. What we're doing here, I'm going to show you how I kind of, what I'm thinking, what I've been doing. Um, first, uh, we've been, I, I just had to close a bot and it was really, really hard to close. It was a big KCS B and B bot. It was only earning uh, 0.46, but it had been doing it for, uh, for days, for a long, long time, for a good 20 days, I had that thing running. But um, Master K shouts out. I, uh, we, me and him together, were looking at an opportunity that we had kind of saw and analyzed. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get in on that one. So what that was was XYO BTC. And I, uh, let's check out my balance real quick. I do have $1,155 that is 0 0.025 BTC. And I also have here $769 of XYO. Now I haven't done the core position trading here in a few days, but let me just explain it real quick. And core position training is an old school technique. You can even find like, you know, when you hear a trader saying, I took up a core position in this today or something along those lines, it means they basically bought a pile of it, right? And they bought a pile when, it was, when they thought it was a pretty good entry, but if it was to go down, they probably have a bunch of cash sitting on the side, generally an equal amount, right? Say so you put a thousand in, it's a core position and you have a thousand dollars of cash sitting off to the side. You put it in when you thought it was a good, good, but it could go down. When it goes down, you take your, you take your, thousand dollars you left sitting in the side and you keep the core position the stock price like let's say it's apple stock about a thousand dollars worth of apple stock you got a thousand dollars sitting off to the side every time the apple stock dipped down you bought more and made sure it always stayed at one thousand dollars with your thousand dollar pile so it went down a hundred a hundred dollars went down to you know to say $900 or whatever, it went down $100. So you took $100, you know, in the total value of the uh, whole pile that you had, it went down 100. So you took 100 of your cash, you put it in, but then it went up 300 the next day. So the next day you come over and you take 200 out of that pile and you put it in your cash pile. Now you have, you know, you took out the 100, but you put in 200. So now you have 1,100 over here and you keep working those piles. I'll go into a much deeper, deeper lesson. And, uh, but you can even like go to Jim Cramer and check out his lesson. But basically what you do here and it's really easy to do on BitsGap, the core position trading, um, because you just go over the trading and the way they have it set up, it just, oh, it's, it's a quick to go through. But right now I'm letting everything kind of sit until this pump is over. And, uh, then I'll reposit, re, push these back down. Um, like for instance, I'll take this BAX right now. It's at two, six, six, nine. And I will just take that down to 2,500. I'll take this BAX or this PD PDX, take that down to 2000. This tell I'll take that down to 2000 and this HPB, I will take down to 2000. I will then bring 
take that cash over there that I had, bring AXPR up to 2000 and HTR up to 2000 and keep them all at 2000 and let them balance that way. That way you're always selling the rip, you're always selling the tops. You don't say like, oh, I never took profits. You don't have to worry about that. This system will do that for you automatically. When it goes up, when you know, if this says 3000, you sell it off into 2000 and you buy whichever one's dipped. And it's basically similar to what you're doing over here, but trading around a core position with bits gap and using this here has been working very, very, very well. So anyway, moving on from there, we're going to set up a bot on the um, chart that we found, which was XYO BTC. I really hated turning off my BNB KCS bot, but uh, I think I'm going to shift that cash uh actually over onto the kcs blockchain and uh, get it working for me over there and you know i only have 0.9 b and b is what i ended up with and on the kcs side i have 115 kcs so yeah probably shift that over to the to uh, at least in large part to the bind to the uh, kcs blockchain and get that working but for now let's get this bot set up we come over here to xyo what did I have? About 700 worth. XYO right there, 700. And we're going to click on the BTC pair. ETH would be a good pair as well. Um, but what we're seeing here is we're thinking this is clear manipulation right here on this XYO chart. Um, and my boy Master K had figured it out that in our bits gap group that it took 25 minutes for the sell took place six days apart. And it was in the exact same hour, exactly six days apart. And what I said is, is this the same whale doing this? Look at that. And the reason we found this is he's like, I need a chart that's pumped or that hasn't pumped yet. Everything else is pumped and is rocking. What is solid that hasn't pumped? And so I went and looking around and I uh, found XYO, something I like a lot and, uh, you know, looked through a bunch of other charts and there was only one or two other things that I thought were uh, hitting the same way or had dipped the same way. But this thing was way down and there it goes. It's starting to climb. So let's get this uh, bot rocking, shall we? Somewhere in there, I want to use about 12 grids. 117 sounds just perfect for me. I want to get this all focused in really well. I'm going to do the trailing up. I'm not going to do any trailing down. Let's see what happens there. Because I'm not planning to leave any Bitcoin on the side. We could turn it on, but <laughs> it only works. It works best if you're, I've, tried, I've tested it over and over again. You know, it's supposed to like buy this, this grid and flip it down and do all that. It doesn't do that very well. It does, what it does do very, very well is if you leave some cash off to the side, which is the best way to approach these bots anyway. If you want to run a $1,000 Cody BTC bot, run a $600 or $800 one and keep your other $2, $200 off to the side. That way, if it ever crashes, you got that $200 to work with. However, if you just turn on this trailing and leave that $200 off to the side, the bot will grab that and start filling in these grids. And you're like, well, why not just put it all in to begin with and the reason is is in case you have a candle like that bam it can't it, you know your 200 would have been wiped out and you would still be way down here everything in a loss but if you got a candle you know i obviously i mean more like this red candle but you know if you flip this chart over on the other side it's you know i think you understand so anyway you're up here it crashed way down and you were all out of cash before you got down here since you had the 200 sitting on the side it waited till you're down here started building some grids so keeping some money off to the side when using this trailing down extremely important extremely important let's go take a look at the uh our regular group here we had one of our team favorites drop his bit his stuff in here today he's been doing quite well there's Tron. Tron's been going nuts. Uh, Willy Woo, users on Bitcoin Network, is now growing at its fastest rate ever. 1.2 million users were added in the last 30 days. And this does not include off-chain users on exchanges, which typically sees 3x this number. That's crazy. Tron has just been going nuts. It's not cooperating. I just jumped to 8.5, as a matter of fact. And I was trying to get it to go down because I was trying to load more into Venturi. Um, but damn, 8... Ah, just wasn't working for me. 
So you can see here he's got FKX BTC is pumping and FKX should be pumping right now. That's a great thing when you get a, you know, when you get a pump. What basically Bitscap does, it has a pump um, protector. And if it buys down low and it immediately pumps in that big, big candle like that one I just showed you on XYO, it turns off for a minute. And it just waits because it thinks that that candle is going to drop back down here. And what it doesn't want to do is buy a bunch of crypto way up high and then sell it after that candle pumps. So this pump protector, it's probably saved you and you didn't even notice. It saved me a few times. What I've done a few times is I go in when this thing says pumping and I sell off Mofos my FKX and leave only a couple BTC lines. And, or excuse me, leave all BTC lines and then let it all buy it back at a cheaper price. And I've done that many, many times. And the person whose charts we're looking at here, Alaric Man, he has started doing that as well. And uh, yeah, he likes that strategy. And uh, so, you know, he's a very good bot guy. Check this shit out. Okay, so he's got 19 hours. This one's got 3.93 and his strategy is a little bit different than say the uh, let it run and spread your grids way out. What he does is he gets them nice compact 10 grid spacing. See all these 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s. All the grids are 10 grid spacing and he lets it fluctuate. He lets it fluctuate and you know, you can see he's got trailing down on all these, on most of them, trailing up on all of them. So, you know, he's set to grab gains and if it ranges out resets it so his strategy is to reset these bots often and a lot and calculate all of his profits in btc and he's way the hell up that's where we're at even in just btc even though he started this whole bot he started his bot saga when Bitcoin was at 55,000 and still he's uh, way, way up in BTC numbers. Anyway, you can come to the group and see that. FKXB, the conversation's in here. B, FKX BTC, he has earned 5% a day, 3% on backs. Now, all of these are one dayers. Let's get down to where it's got a little more exciting where you get in two dayers. He's got a 15 day Thala bot here at 1.17. That is beautiful. Earning USDT. Cody BTC, he's earning 2.33 for four days. And that's actually doing a lot better than my bot. It's that 10 grid thing right there. Really gets that popping. I'm leaving for vacation, so I'm looking to spread my bots out quite a bit at this point. R BTC, he's got pumping 2.2. Love R. That's, for me, a long-term hold. I'm loading as much money into R as I can because I think there are huge things coming for privacy coins. And R is the most private coin in the world they don't know you have it they don't know you have wealth stored in it they don't know anything you could swim naked across the english channel they could <laughs> you show up on the other side grab all your r no one would know you had it no you know no spy coin could uh, tell you no one could look onto the blockchain and see you had it that's the whole point privacy by default through R. ubx has a lot going on they're going after the like construction niche um and which is pretty cool. You know, they don't want to, they're not really interested in financial services or DeFi or any of that. They're interested in utilizing the blockchain in any realm that they can and getting clients and building blockchain services for those clients. It's very interesting. They did a, a big AMA just recently and it was probably the best one yet. Trios BTC, he's got going 4.57 for two days. That's beautiful. So that's a nice 9.14% gain in two days in trading profits pretty fantastic noah centropy the internet of the future web three layer one i couldn't be more bullish uh than on noah well are a little more but bullish on that one especially for a small cap 3.33 percent in two days he's made phantom he's got his phantom cranking two i've i've been collecting a lot of phantom because i want to get uh drop in some DeFi action on the uh phantom blockchain and uh, i'll be heading back over there pretty soon okay taking a look at my bots i just reset this prom usdt bot it was going well this thing cranked out dollars for a long time i just added a little bit more cash to it and spread the grids out because i'm going to head off a of vacation you know so i might not really vacation more of a workcation but uh we'll be in the mountains for a few klv trx this thing ranged out because um TRX jumped through the moon, and I'm surprised this BTT one didn't range out. I've got a nice wide grid space there. Shouldn't have a problem running about 15 grids on most of these, 24 on that prom. Luna KCS is doing quite well. That's one of my best performers 
1.56% for 11 days. ADA KCS 1.21 for 11 days. Cody BTC 1.09 for 13 days. So you know, I didn't quite match a Lark Man's uh, daily percentage, but I have had this running for a good long time. And it started out a little heavier and then, you know, kind of backed off. Adam KCS doing quite well. The only one that did different was Trios. Trios started out a very low performer and then just in the last little bit has really brought brought it home and uh yeah doing quite well with trios i'm bullish on trios i like low supply coins like that especially you know it's a dag so it's not quite a blockchain it's a little bit different but they are very powerful in their niche and uh which other things that are in that realm right other dags you got um well clearly ubx but then also uh, avalanche um there's a few a few others um ugh, of course since i press recorded record anyway I know a bunch of them. I just can't remember at the moment. <laughs> Link KCS. Link has had a nice jump, and it's uh, earned me for 25 days, 7.4%. So what happened? My bot, my XYO bot didn't launch for me. Is that what happened? <laughs> Today, we showed you some different styles for moving forward through this run we got going, right? So the one style was to go and see what's down. You, you got your pile of crypto, you put them all on a list, you see what's lowest and set, you know, what's crashed, what hasn't pumped like my man Master K was, and you run your bot on that. So you run your bot on what hasn't pumped yet. That's your one strategy. Your next strategy is to grab all these things that you have you know, you have all these different cryptos off to the side, you know, and that's why I keep them on here so I can look at them. Okay, well, the bot pretty much set itself up. Like, this thing was glitching out, and it set itself up at 1.09 with 21 grids. Like, I had very little to do with it. <laughs> it was just... It was glitching. I recommend when it's glitching bad like that, just walk away, come back later, and set it up later. But that thing was, yeah, that was glitching out pretty hard. Normally, their bots don't do that. All right, I'm about to give you gold right here. Let's just do it. So what you do, you got these cryptos over here, right? Or you're looking for pairs to get into. And you're like, what's the best way to choose between win, FXX, Velo, whatever, right? What's the best way to choose this KCS pair? And we could go into entries um, using the money flow index, using you know all sorts of different indicators that I like to use to determine um, you know when is a good entry. Usually a combination of indicators. Okay, we're at Trading View. Anyone could go to Trading View and. You come to Trading View and just with a free account, you don't need to pay the little thing or anything like that. You just come over to the crypto screener, right? And this is one of the only screeners that you can find. And I'm giving you money here. This is money. You come over here to this crypto screener and you put in your exchanges. You can choose multiple exchanges, right? But we're just going to go for KuCoin. You can, you know, do four or five exchanges at once. And because BitScap, you can have all your exchanges hooked up. It's nice, you're only looking at the exchanges you have. However, most of the pairs, if you can find them on one and they're on the other, the signals are all the same, right? The ups and downs are all the same because we have so many arbitrage bots in crypto now that prices can't disparage the way that they used to. You used to make some serious cash with arbitrage trading. Like anyone could do it, just transfer around from pair to pair. But now it's, the market has become so big and you know, so many players involved that it doesn't really work that way. Now, this rating setting here, is uh not great <laughs> it's very trailing right has every single trailing indicator loaded in there one or two leading indicators and the trailing indicators way outweigh the the, the normal indicators and to to see the whole thing just click on a pair and we'll open it and it will automatically go open up that stuff come over here to technicals right from technicals, you'll see all of your, you know, for whatever given pair, you'll see all the indicators that they use to come up with those buy ratings or in the sell ratings. And you can decide for yourself what you like, what you don't like, and what indicators you like to use. You know, I'm a, I'm a big uh, Ichimoku Cloud guy. Like, I just love that thing. But, you know, I might actually go into that uh, in a future video. But anyway... 
Let's head back over to the screener right here. And you choose your, your things. You can, you know, if you want to just trade all the 3x coins, right? Now we've got every 3x coin that's on, on here, right? But to find the best one that trades with, uh, these are probably bad examples. Let's just go for every single um, KCS pair. I've been doing that one a lot. So KCS pairs, we have every KCS pair and we want to go find what's the best one to trade for, like, for the day, for the week. This volatility screen right here for the week is fantastic. Also, if you come over here and you're looking to stay in something longer, one that I have found is quite great is the volatility for the month. One month, let's see, volatility. We want a volatility month. Where is the volatility month? There it is. Click it twice usually. Volatility month. Okay, that'll add it. It'll be over here on the end. See, it's right there. Volatility for the month. You can click on that and rank all these by volatility for the month. See that one right there? Toco KCS. If you believe in that coin, damn. That is a good one to change. You know what that means? That means transactions. You know what transactions mean? Transactions mean money. Right here, 12.8. That's great volatility for the month. Now, kind of click through them. This one will tell you the volatility for right now. Right now. Whatever this one is, is pretty fantastic. What is that? EWT KCS. Haven't ever got, man, that might be a killer one to trade. Might want to get in on that. I'm trading a lot of them, as you can see. I think that's probably the newest uh, one because I never saw that before. So that's probably a new listing. If you can get a new listing, listing against KCS, I think that's going to be money. It's clearly volatility right now. It's banging. Volatility for the month, pretty damn good. Not as good as some of these others, but pretty damn good. It may not have been around a whole month. Volatility for the week, 25.5. Holy crap, we have found us a nice winner, Toco KCS. Great freaking pair for right now. Won't be the same when you're maybe watching this video or whatever, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm coming to the here. I'm going to volatility because what we're doing is we're volatility shopping. We're volatility farming, right? So what you do, you come over to your, you know, different volatilities and go volatility shopping. Stay with the weeks, with the monthlies, this volatility above one. That just means right freaking now. You could type in all the pairs and see what you have. Say you got a bunch of link, right? I got link. Come over, find the volatility, what's the best rating? All that, right? So, you know, you obviously have a whole bunch to choose from if you chose USDT or, and then went volatility of whatever. And if you don't like the market cap, skip to the next one. You don't like something about it, skip over it. There's nothing, going. you know, no one says you have to get into that pair. And remember, you're using bits gap. So if it says, you know, strong sell, you can just spread your grids way out to go way down and buy the dip for you if you want to buy a dip on that. You know, there's a lot of different ways to work it. And speaking of that really quick, when I wanted to get into KCS or I wanted to get into this phantom, right? I was trying to get into phantom because I want to get this staked over on the blockchain right i came in with some usdt or whatever and i traded this usdt phantom pair and i kept trading that until it had just about ranged out and then i turned the bot off had me a bunch of phantom right then i took that phantom and i traded it went over to eth i traded against eth and i kept trading against eth and kept trading against eth i think i uh, went into btc one or two times and I don't mind when it ranges out because what I'm trying to do is get as much phantom as I can to go over to the phantom blockchain and get going on DeFi, right? <laughs> I, I mean, I started with next to nothing. And just by working it over and over, I got $2,400, 7,315 phantom. It's working pretty damn good, right? And so when I wanted this KCS, I came over with a bunch of USDT and a bunch of BTC, and I ran KCS spots. And I just ran those KCS spots, ran those KCS spots until it ranged out, right? We had some really nice pumps on Bitcoin and Ethereum. And when that happened, it ranged out. I got left with a bunch of KCS. I, you know, sold a little bit of it and got the bot going again. And I ran that a few times until I had a big pile of KCS. Then I started loading that KCS against all of the bots, all of the crypto I had, right? I had myself 
a big bag of Adam. I'd bought you know way early on, way cheap. It's almost embarrassing. I had bought had this dash for years, and I've had you know had a lot of this. some of the crypto I already had sitting around, and I just sent it over here, placed it against the KCS. I got it working for me, and now I have these cryptos that I can drop in and out of. And when I'm picking ETH bots, when I'm picking BTC bots, like you saw me pick this because it was the lowest, and I think it's manipulated. And I think Master K is right on there. And I, what, I, what I'm saying is you can jump in and out of these. And one fantastic way to jump out of them, in and out of them, is pick whatever is not pumped. Also, pick what is most volatile because we are volatility shopping. To do that, you could go to uh, Mazari has a really good volatility screener. Lots of good volatility screeners out there. The trading view is your, you know, your go-to for all things along those lines get yourself on the utility screener type in you know say you're looking to do uh tron pairs not a lot of tron pairs on uh on but there you go you got every single tron pair you can decide where you might want to place your tron if you're on poloniex and you type in tron you got a freaking page and a half of this stuff but let's say you know you were looking to just trade some eth pairs and you can come over here choose whatever you know don't go by these ratings <laughs> i don't think <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Everyone sees this chart, but this volatility thing over here, going by the volatility has been extremely effective. What I'm giving you here is money. Like, subscribe, all that jazz, crypto music. I'm gonna catch you up on the flip. Hope you're having a hell of a great day. Hope you got mad profits falling in your lap. Love each and every one of you. Catch you on the next one. I'm out.